So real quick, I'm going to talk about how to improve your FPS on TF2. So real quickly, I'm on the site called masterconfig.com. And what this is, is it's a config that runs very efficiently. So it kind of reduces the textures in Team Fortress 2 and adds a lot of efficiencies to make the frame rate go better. So we're on low here. I don't like very low because at certain points on certain maps, just frontier, if you look very far away on the map, certain uh, walls will just disappear and I don't like that. So I keep it on low. I would recommend you go to low also. Now this is going to increase your performance a lot by reducing textures and it's gonna reduce visual fidelity a little bit. Now go down here to add-ons. You have your options here. No footsteps, remove footsteps sounds. I wouldn't turn that on. Disable powerland, I might turn that on. No soundscapes, definitely gonna turn that on. You know, ambient map noise, like what you get on two fort in the courtyard. Uh, no tutorial, disables tutorial messages and other pop-ups, I would enable that. Null canceling movement, prevents you from pressing two opposing directions, which causes you to stop moving, I wouldn't. Flat mouse, makes mouse input flat with stable input, no acceleration, one one zoom sensitivity. Transparent view models, enables support for transparent view models. This doesn't enable it. Transparent view models, your HUD must enable them. And low memory, optimizations for low memory RAM systems with two gigabytes and lower. So if you're below two gigs on RAM, you should probably press that. Otherwise, just press whatever you're looking for here. If you have something you want that I don't want, you know, go ahead and grab it. Not a big deal. You can have whatever you want here out of these boxes. Just click the ones you want and then go down here to download and now it's going to download them. It might prompt you up here and you might need to hit allow to be able to get the things that you need off of it and might have like allow or block there. And that's perfectly fine. You can see they downloaded down here our VPKs. So we go to Steam and you're going to go to properties here. Now it's going to hit you on general right here. You're going to go to local files, hit browse local files. And I'm going to get this over here. So we're going to go to TF and then custom. And then the files that are downloaded, just pop them in here and you're done. You already have master config. Great. This is probably going to double or triple your FPS. It depends on what situation you're in, but that's a huge FPS improvement right there. I love this thing too, because it gets rid of a lot of visual crap that I normally don't like to see in the game that makes it hard to make out enemies and such too. So I love that. Now also while we're at it, let's go to general here on steam set launch options and okay so what you can do here is dash no vid this removes the introduction vid which i hate you know it takes an extra 10 seconds to get in the game super obnoxious so i can just remove that no ipx this is for like really old computers for like networking and it makes the game run like half a percent slower so if you turn it off it'll run a tad faster dash threads 32 my computer has 16 cores and that has 32 threads to go along with that. This will make it run like one to 2% better if you tell it exactly how many threads your computer has. So you can go and press Windows plus R and then type in DXDAG. And then you'll get your processor here. See, mine says 32 CPUs. So uh, yeah, 32 is what I would put there for that number, which is what I have there. Uh, and that's how you get that and that'll help it run just a tad better no joy this just turns off the controller option which will make the game run another you know one percent better so it's just slightly better and then don't worry about this part because that part is just a networking thing i have you don't have to worry about that so we go to cfg so if you don't have auto exec.cfg so you haven't been in here before what you want to do is create a new text document and we'll just call it auto exec because it has to be called that it just has to be and actually we got to rename the end of it too to dot cfg i already have one uh so i'm not going to change it i will delete this one and then i'll just go there there it is so let's add it with notepad plus plus don't want an update package and then in here all you want to write in here is whatever you're using to edit this doesn't matter however you get in here just map 
underscore Fong Zero. Yeah, when you're doing this for Matt Fong Zero, make sure this is a capital because otherwise I'm pretty sure it won't work. And what this does is it turns off some of the shininess of the game and kind of makes shadows work differently. So it'll make it so like Australians aren't shiny anymore and stuff like that, but it'll increase your FPS by about 10%. So I think that's worth it. And I decided to do that. You can decide not to do that if you don't want to. Just, you know, it's an option here that you might want to put in. This automatically executes any command you put in it when the game starts up. So that's all good there. We, as long as we save that, done, done. We can go ahead and hit OK on this and we're ready to open up the game and that'll make our fps way better so that's it for the guide guys if you like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more